Ladies and gentlemen, it is a privilege to welcome you to the University of South Florida, Sarasota Manatees, Fall 2012 Commencement. I hereby declare this convocation open. On behalf of the faculty, I offer congratulations to all of the graduates. And now, the Regional Chancellor of USF Sarasota Manatee, Dr. Arthur Guilford. Thank you very much. And good afternoon and welcome to the University of South Florida, uh, Sarasota Manatee Fall 2012 Commencement Ceremony. Would you please remain standing as uh, Sarah Coit sings our national anthem. say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming on the rocket's red the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you so much. You may be seated. <clears throat> I would like to introduce our distinguished platform guests today uh, and thank them for joining in our celebration. I ask you to please hold your applause until all the introductions are completed. We have representatives of the University of South Florida, Sarasota Manatee faculty, and our Senate President, Dr. Jody McBrien. We have Vice Chancellors, please stand, Vice Presidents, Deans, and Campus Administrators. We have our outstanding Professor, Elizabeth Carlson, and outstanding graduate, Marina Cosgrove. The President of our Student Government Association, Andrew Gould, and the Fall 2012 Golden Bull Award, Olivia Santiago. Uh, we have our USF Sarasota Manatee Board Chair, Margaret Callahan. We have Dr. Bonnie Jones, Regional Vice Chancellor for Academic and Student Affairs. And of course, we have the System President, University of South Florida, Dr. Judy Genshaft. Please join me in acknowledging our distinguished guest. And again, I want to thank you for joining us as we congratulate our graduates for their hard work and their trip through this exciting journey. The reward of a thing well done is to have done it, said Ralph Waldo Emerson. To all of you, I say, well done. Yeah. 
I want to congratulate you for your hard work, your determination, your dedication, and acknowledge the family, friends, and supporters of all of our graduates, because this is your day as well. <laughs> to our graduates, you've made an excellent investment in your future. The education you receive from this world-class faculty will serve you well as you go forward in your career and in your life. I know many of you have come here today to celebrate and to mark an end of your journey, but you must always remember that this is truly a beginning. Stay true to the definition of the word commencement and go out in the world and start your life. Begin the first day of your continuing journey towards learning, growing, and contributing. The future's in your hands, and we've prepared you with a university education, and you have nowhere to go but up, and I'm confident you'll do that. I hope that one of the great lessons you've learned during your time at USF Sarasota Manatee is that learning never ends, and where you lead, what you contribute, what really matters, and the positive impact that you have on the world is fully in your hands. It's important to remember that your education at USF Sarasota Manatee has taught you to be a critical thinker. In the future, you will be solving problems so far unimagined with technology yet to be invented. So I encourage you to keep learning, growing, and thriving. I'm confident that many of you will pursue graduate degrees, become members of our alumni association, continue to live and work in our community, and give back to the university. Please stay involved and know that you always will have a place here. As you leave here today, think about what really matters. How will the value of your days be measured? What will matter is not what you've done, but what will matter is your overall successes and your contributions. A life of meaning and purpose and happiness, that's the greatest success of all. It is with great pleasure and honor to serve as your regional chancellor, and I wish all 240 of our graduates the best on your journey ahead. I know you're going to be successful. Well, now that brings us to the system USF president, and the mission of every great university president must be to support the growing and changing needs of the regions they serve. And it's through this highest commitment to education that the USF system and the USF Sarasota Manatee have been able to thrive. And no single person embraces this vision more than our own president. So it's now my pleasure to introduce the president of the University of South Florida, Dr. Judy Ginshaft. Well, thank you. On behalf of the faculty, staff, and trustees, I want to thank all of you graduates for being a part of a great institution, the University of South Florida, Sarasota Manatee. And it is very exciting to address you. We're all uh, celebrating. But there is a time right now where I want to just say that it is a celebration of, uh, of families. And as parents, we always dream of the day our children will graduate from college. And as educators, we share in the joy of families reaching that milestone. But for the past a uh, day and a half and, and today. It is also time of profound sadness and grief for our nation. Our hearts are heavy, so please join me in a moment of silence as we extend our deepest sympathies and prayers to the families of Newtown, Connecticut. Thank you. Well, this semester, over 4,000 students are graduating from across the USF system. And the diverse group came to us from 44 states and 83 nations. Our oldest graduate is age 67, and our youngest graduate is age 19. And all of you have had the good fortune 
to study at the University of South Florida, one of, one of America's leading research institutions. And the degrees that we award today signify a special collaboration between students and their professors, advisors, fellow students, and university staff. And virtually every degree represents the commitment and help of families and friends. So I would like to ask our graduates, mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters, wives, husbands, sons, daughters, grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins, partners, and significant others to rise so that we may show you how much your contributions mean to us. Please rise. Thank you. Thank you for everything. This it. You'll have a lot of time for celebration, so let's let's just. Uh, this is a very important day to celebrate. It's of your hard work, your careful planning, unwavering determination to reach your goal. Our national and international reputation has made leaps forward in recent years and due to the hard work of our students, faculty, and staff who are tireless in their pursuit of excellence on all levels. Well, this year was a very sp uh, important year for the whole University of South Florida system because there are approximately 741 research institutions across the United States. But this year, USF has reached the top 50 of all of those 741 institutions. And what that means is that move over a little bit, uh, Cornell, uh, University of Michigan, University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill, University of Texas at Austin, University of South Florida is right there with you. We are global leaders as well in generating new U.S. patents, and that's why there's such an incredible atmosphere of innovation and creativity right here. We have given our students and faculty the freedom to explore new ideas and create new technologies and products, and they are doing so in large numbers. We also have been recognized by the Institute on International Education and the Chronicle of Higher Education as the University of South Florida system as a top producer of Fulbright scholars, placing us again in the same category as Harvard, Columbia, Cornell, and University of California, Berkeley, in one of the world's most competitive postgraduate scholarships. We've also been recognized nationally as the fourth most veteran-friendly university in the nation. We have had 132 uh, veterans graduate, but across our system, we have more than 2,500 veterans who are coming to one of the institutions within the University of South Florida. And we, we really thank all of the veterans, not only for their service, but look forward to their future, our future, as contributors and leaders in our communities. And this, this other item is one of um, a fun point of pride. The USF system was recently named by the Sierra Club as the nation's 12th cool school for our commitment to sustainability in research and education. And this is a bold statement for USF. We are not only relevant to the times, we are leading the way into the future. And all of you graduates are writing your own story and determining your own destiny. 
but also adding to the great potential that exists in our community and our region for lasting success. So I hope that you will look back at your time at the University of South Florida, Sarasota, Manatee as one of the best years of your life. It has been a privilege to serve you at the University of South Florida, Sarasota, Manatee. And please always know that you are our uh, family and our home and come back often. Congratulations to graduates. Congratulations to all family and friends. It is now my pleasure to introduce Andrew Gould, the president of the USF Sarasota Manatee Student Government Association. Thank you, President Kinsheft. Class of 2012, today we celebrate the end of one long journey and the beginning of another. As we look back on our time at USF Sarasota Manatee, let us thank those that helped us get here today, our faculty, their knowledge and guidance brought us through the challenges of higher education. Our staff, from student services to the info commons, facilities to campus computing, we owe a big thank you to those hardworking folks behind the scenes. Perhaps most importantly, our friends and family, those that have been with us through thick and thin. None of us made this journey alone. Let's remember though, class of 2012, it's you who we celebrate here today, your hard work and accomplishments. Through homework and pop quizzes, research papers and finals, you persevered, you sacrificed, you dedicated, you committed to your education. The future is yours and it starts right now. As Goethe said, whatever you can do or dream you can, begin it. Boldness has genius, power, and magic in it. Bring the spirit and energy you showed at USFSM out into the world. Make some waves, make a difference, and make us proud. Now the real journey starts. Class of 2012, you made it. Congratulations, good luck, and go Bulls. It is now my honor to present the Outstanding Professor Award. Each graduating class selects one USF Sarasota Manatee faculty member whom they feel exemplifies an extraordinary commitment to excellence, passion for teaching, and a sincere involvement in the educational stewardship of their students. I am pleased to present the Fall 2012 Outstanding Professor Award to Elizabeth Carlson. <laughs> Professor Carlson is an instructor in accounting in the College of Business. Professor Carlson, please come forward. The Golden Bull Award is presented to the one undergraduate student who exemplifies the meaning of community. The student honored with this award demonstrates excellence in leadership, university involvement, and academic success. For her tireless work, both inside and outside of the classroom, the Student Government Association awards the Fall 2012 Golden Bull to Ms. Olivia Santiago. At this time, we are fortunate to welcome Dennis Stover, Regional Vice Chancellor for Advancement, to present the Outstanding Graduate Award. Dennis. Thank you. Thank you, Andrew. I have to move a little closer. Excuse me. The Outstanding Graduate Award is presented each semester by the USF Alumni Association to an outstanding senior who not only embodies leadership, school spirit, community service, character, but also scholarship quite an accomplishment for a young person. This year, we are very proud to offer that award to Marina Hosgrove.
for the outstanding graduate for this fall. Today, Marina will receive her bachelor's degree in science and accounting. Her future plans include a master's degree in accounting, and she hopes to begin her career as a CPA working locally in our community. Marina, please come forward. Please join me now by welcoming to the podium Dr. Bonnie Jones, our academic <coughs> advice, excuse me, Bonnie, our academic um, vice chancellor, who is also in charge of student services. Bonnie. Thank you, Mr. Stover. At the University of South Florida, we take enormous pride in the academic achievements of all of our students. And we welcome opportunities to recognize and honor students who consistently meet the highest level of academic performance. At each commencement ceremony, the USF Alumni Association recognizes the extraordinary achievements of our graduates with the King O'Neill Scholar Award, presented to those graduating seniors with the highest possible grade point average. For the fall 2012 graduating class, USF Sarasota Manatee is extremely proud to have three of the nine outstanding students who qualify for this award across the USF system. The recipients of the King O'Neill Award are honored with a certificate of achievement and a gold medallion bearing the seal of the university. Our first King O'Neill Scholar, Kathleen Cornish, is graduating today with a Bachelor of Arts degree in Interdisciplinary Social Sciences. Kathy, please come forward. Jessica Souders will graduate today with a bachelor's degree in business administration. Jessica, please come forward. Diane Flores graduates today with a bachelor's degree in applied science. Diane, please come forward. And now we come to the part of the program that you've eagerly awaited, the awarding of the degrees. For a presentation of the master's candidates, I would like to call forward Dr. Bonnie Jones, Regional Vice Chancellor for Academic and Student Affairs, and to introduce the, uh, student affairs and to introduce the candidates. Dr. Stephen Graves. To assist with the presentation of the fall 2012 master's candidates, I would also like to call forward USF Sarasota Manatee Regional Chancellor, Dr. Arthur Guilford, and USF Campus Board Chair, Margaret Callahan. From the College of Arts and Sciences, Dean Jane Rose. Right. 
Will the candidates for the master's degree from the College of Arts and Sciences please come forward? President Genshaft, on behalf of the faculty of the college, I confirm that the fall 2012 candidates have completed all the requirements for the master's degree. Kelsey Rohr. For the College of Business, Dean Robert Anderson. Will the candidates for the master's degree from the College of Business please come forward? President Genshaft, on behalf of the faculty of the college, I confirm that the fall 2012 candidates have completed all requirements for the master's degree. Christine Contessa. <laughs> Mary Knight. Jason Bliley. <laughs> Michael Nelson. Christopher Randstrom. Andrew Klotz. Jeffrey Maltzby. <laughs> Patrick McCarthy. Christian Merizaldi. For the College of Education, Dean Terry Osborne. Candidates for the master's degree from the College of Education, please come forward. President Genshaft, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Education, I confirm that the fall 2012 candidates have completed all requirements for the master's degree. Dale Drees. President Genshaft. On behalf of the graduate faculties of the various colleges, I certify that these candidates have completed all requirements for the master's degree. 
by virtue of the authority vested in me by the University Board of Trustees and the State of Florida, I confer upon you the master's degree. Congratulations. For the College of Arts and Sciences, Dean Jane Rose. Will the candidates from the College of Arts and Sciences please come forward? President Genshaft, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Arts and Sciences, I certify that the fall 2012 candidates have completed all requirements for the baccalaureate degree. Elias Kadina. Diane Flores, summa cum laude and King O'Neill Scholar. <laughs> Kathleen Cornish, summa cum laude and King O'Neill Scholar. Grace Heights. Alexandra Scheller. Aisha Plana, cum laude. Paul Beers, cum laude. Allison Dunn. Thank you. Cassidy Rickroad. Amanda Lee Cornwell. B.J. Tarwo. Sarah Boki. Brittany Bedford. Lindsay Amiro. Courtney Riga. Elizabeth Tucker. Daniel Drock. Jennifer Hart. Jessica McMahon. Harper Sublet, magna cum laude. Tracy Barnes. Gabriella Nemerson. Amanda LaBelle. Sweet. 
Italia Di Carlo. <laughs> Natalie Ramsey. <laughs> Brandy Freeman. Adam Daneman. <laughs> Maria Reister. <laughs> Carol Springer, cum laude. Corey Johnson. <laughs> Lauren Cross, magna cum laude. Maria Angelina Vasquez. <laughs> Denise Trelongo, magna cum laude. <laughs> David Ramirez. Jamie Howell. Manuel Bass. Christopher Gray. Bryant Coker. Joseph Fulford. Jody Cree Miller, cum laude. Kristen Bergeron, magna cum laude. Jennifer Biggs. Deborah Farrell. Maria Rios. <laughs> Holly Wood. <laughs> Martha Eddins. Brandia Prichet. Yeah. Courtney Jeffries. Yeah. Jessica Reka, honors program. Stephanie Wober. <laughs> Ma
Mackenzie Altman. Audrey O'Connell, magna cum laude. Lisa Wiesner. Sarah Bland, magna cum laude. Bernadette Sapp. <laughs> Kyle Huff. <laughs> Kevin Reardon. Kara Kovach. For the College of Business, Dean Robert Anderson. Will the candidates from the College of Business please come forward? President Genshaft, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Business, I certify that the fall 2012 candidates have completed all requirements for the baccalaureate degree. Marina Cosgrove, magna cum laude. Olivia Santiago. <laughs> Jessica Souders, summa cum laude, King O'Neill Scholar. Jason Lovell. Evans Francois. <laughs> William Balsman. <laughs> Ankil Bakta. Lucien De Rosa. <laughs> Isabel Cardenas. <laughs> Aaron Suarez. John Tucker Lindy. Angela Jackson, magna cum laude. Vladimir Chekareski. Michael Brown. <laughs> Devin Bell. <laughs> Christian Cunell. Jerry Howes, magna cum laude. Okay. 
Jeffrey Pepe. Joseph Angies. Simone Peterson. Cassie Friedman. Sean Skidmore. Dardana Plana. Dylan Cox. Christmas Carol, summa cum laude. Victoria Pearson, magna cum laude. Ellen Brown. Nathan Higgs. Thomas Bradley. Raul Lozano. Michael McGarrigal. Mark Lishan. James Newman. Veronica Hernandez. Brandon Gross. Lee Ann Martin, cum laude. Heather Craver. <laughs> Megan Hoffman. <laughs> Jessica Walker. <laughs> Caitlin Monroe. Yasmin Jara. Irma Maldonado. Janet Huffman. Catherine McCurdy. <laughs> William Thomas. <laughs> Robert Hamilton. Peter Grassi.
For the College of Education, Dean Terry Osborne. Will the candidates from the College of Education please come forward? President Ginshaft, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Education, I certify that the fall 2012 candidates have completed all requirements for the baccalaureate degree. Aaron Garlock. <laughs> Megan Walsh. Natasha Vincent. <laughs> Catherine Purcell. <laughs> William Davies, magna cum laude. <laughs> Tara Toll. Megan O'Connor. Chelsea Fitzgerald. Claudia Ramos. Marlene Felipe. Nicole Helmink. <laughs> Veronica Gutierrez. <laughs> Noemi Alaman, magna cum laude. Inja Boito. <laughs> Shannon Davis. <laughs> Chastity Saraba Stoddard. Diana Watts, magna cum laude. Brooke Hardy. Brittany Paul. Jennifer Knoll. Cassandra Fay. Jason Pike, magna cum laude. Robin Williams. Elise Hartwig. Megan Carney. Kelsey Bolduck. Kimberly Hillman. Cassidy Lewis, cum laude. Rebecca Sanchez Gramajo.
for the College of Nursing, Dean Terry Osborne. Will the candidates from the College of Nursing please come forward? President Genshaft, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Nursing, I certify that the fall 2012 candidates have completed all requirements for the baccalaureate degree. Sabrina Hopper. Yeah. For the College of Hospitality and Technology Leadership, Dean Jihan Kobanalu. Will the candidates from the College of Hospitality and Technology Leadership please come forward? President Genshaft, on behalf of the faculty of the college, I certify that the fall 2012 candidates have completed all requirements for the baccalaureate degree. Sarah Ford. John Van Horn. Roberto Acevedo, summa cum laude. Miles Morell. Todd Mitchell, summa cum laude. Jennifer Rogers. Nicholas Ligman. Justin Adam. James Childers. Casey Ray Jordan Johnson. Nicholas Davila. Brittany Williams. Anish Patel. Luen Lu, cum laude. Will the deans please stand? Will the faculty please stand? Will the candidates for the bachelor's degree please stand? Almost, almost, almost. By virtue of the authority, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the University Board of Trustees and the State of Florida, I confer upon each of you the bachelor's degree. Please move your tassels to the left. Congratulations. Congratulations, and please be seated.
Please join me in thanking our faculty and staff who've honored the graduates by serving as our commencement marshals and especially our ceremony announcer, Dr. Stephen Graves, for expertly reading the names of our 240 graduates. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us here today to honor these graduates and this university. We're grateful for your interest and your support. And to the graduates, again, I offer my heartiest congratulations along with a reminder. Today you've completed a period of intense academic involvement with USF, but always remember the University of South Florida remains your university and your home. We're proud of your accomplishments during your time here at USF and look forward to the distinction you will bring to the university in your professional, civic, and family life. We wish you the best of luck, success, and happiness. Now, if you would please stand and join Sarah Coit in singing the alma mater, you may refer to the back of your commencement program. Thank you, Sarah. This concludes the fall 2012 commencement of the University of South Florida, Sarasota Manatee. We ask everyone to please remain standing at their seats until the stage party, faculty, and graduates have cleared the auditorium aisles. Thank you. <laughs>